So hi everybody, this is Wes Carly, and I work in a scheduler and pod management team uh, at AMD with Gautam. And in this presentation, I'll be talking about VM CPU pre for x86 systems, uh, scaling the guest frequency for performance and power saving. So little bit of background, how Linux kernel scales the core frequency. It basically uses this formula, uh, if next equal to 1.25 into utilization, into if max by capacity. So here for x86 systems, if max and capacity are static and only variable part is utilization and how Linux kernel uh, um, decides the utilization is depicted here. I'll not go deep about uh, this uh, utilization calculation, but ultimately this uh, utilization is calculated uh, and aggregated uh, um, in the uh, run queues and uh, ultimately fed to shared util and shared util uh, calculates this frequency and give it to uh, frequency driver. So uh, we did one experiment uh, where um, uh, like uh, I took a workload and uh, ran it in a virtualization case and in a bare metal case. And in virtualization case, I have uh, measured the utilization in the guest and host uh, simultaneously and uh, bare metal case I have uh, measured separately. So if we see the 90th percentile, uh, uh, so uh, the workload I ran is a simple loop which has uh, two phases, one is busy and one is idle. So when uh, the um, idle phase is 100%, it means uh, 100 microsecond it waits and uh, wakes up and again goes back to sleep. So uh, this workload, if I run in the virtualization case, uh, then a 90th percentile of utilization becomes 41. Uh, if I measure it uh, in the host, it becomes 42. and uh, only in bare metal case, it will be uh, 17. And if I vary this busy percentage a uh, little bit more, 10% uh, busy, then uh, this becomes 133, 104, and 108. For 50-50% busy idle, it becomes 40, uh, 497, 523, and 495. So uh, it's in the same ballpark but here uh, actually the guest is performing halt and which causes a idle uh, which uh, which causes a vm exit uh, uh, when guest is idle so but uh, we saw a problem when guest does not idle uh, so does not exit when idle so uh, some cloud providers do not uh, want guest to perform vm exit when guest is idle to achieve a lower latency and what they see, uh, they see uh, like they use idle pole or idle M weight to do that. And they see uh, higher power consumption uh, for idle pole. And there actually we uh, did some uh, measurement and see uh, and saw that uh, when, so th this graph depicts the same uh, workload uh, characteristics and uh, like, uh, if I vary the busy percentage from 0 to 100% and plot the 90th percentile in the y axis. So when guest uses halt exit, uh, and um, this blue line is the VM's view, orange line is the host view, and green line is the uh, bare metals view. So you can see, like, host view tries to uh, uh, add and uh, tries to match the uh, bare metals and um, VM's view, but it's not exactly accurate. But for halt case, it's uh, acceptable. But for pole and MWAT case, uh, host always see 100% utilization, uh, utilization. So this is not correct uh, uh, for idle pole and idle MWAT. So we um, uh, we evaluated VM CPU. Flick patches uh, from Google, and uh, uh, there are mainly two versions of, of this uh, v2 and v3. So, v2 uh, is based on 
uh, ARM big little architecture and uh, focuses on pin VM and uh, uses hypercall. Uh, but uh, 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 Google's main uh, like uh, uh, problem was their uh, guest workload task placement. But uh, for our case, x86 server case, uh, uh, the problem was a bit different because we have the same capacity cores and we don't have a uh, task placement uh, problem. <clears throat> but we have a problem when guest doesn't exit on idle. So that's what we wanted to um, uh, solve. Uh, we, we picked up a V2 and And how uh, this is uh, this works? I, I'll not uh, go uh, uh, details on this because uh, uh, Saravana has covered already in the previous LPC talk how this works. So we uh, we ported those patches uh, for x And results actually, I I, I have tried uh, T bench, D bench, and current bench workload, and uh the results uh if you see the t-bench results like uh first case is the alt case and second case is the idle pole case and third case is the idle m weight case so and um this black line is the no driver case and uh red one is the vmcp quick driver case when uh case is running vmcp quick driver so uh, you see only red lines because uh, it's over, uh, overlapped and we don't see any changes in the performance. Uh, there is a little bit variation in the power, but uh, it's very minimal. Same for D-Bench, there's very minimal improvement. And you can see that uh, if I use idle pole uh, inside guess the power consumption becomes uh, 10x. Uh, and current bench also, I don't see any improvements either. Uh, this, uh, this all results are of uh, eight vCPUs uh, results. If I um, vary the vCPUs, like uh, 16 vCPUs, I see some power improvements in uh, idle pole case, but it's not sustained. Uh, if I run uh, many number of times, uh, I see a performance uh, a power uh, uh, again uh, shoot up. So, or deep bench also uh, same case. So, uh, ultimately, uh, if I plot this utilization uh, graph for this case also with VMCP break also, uh, we see uh, the guest pole and MOID are still showing uh, hundred percent utilization. And uh, in the whole, whole case, uh, I'm actually seeing a higher utilization uh, compared to not uh, normal case. Because uh, if you see uh, the patches, uh, VMC view patches, it gives an additional boost uh, to the guest thread. So that's why this is happening. So in the summary, uh, yeah, so we don't see any uh, performance improvement. Uh, uh, and a power performance and power improvement. And uh, that is because uh, a current VNC fabric patches actually uh, only co uh, consider the lower bound of the utilization where that, can, uh, that does not consider, consider the uh, upper bound. So we tried uh, um, adding the upper bound using UClamp min and max also, but we don't see any uh, um, improvement there also. And yeah, so this is the current status of this. Uh, any comments, any questions? Yeah, it looks uh, like we have a question. Hey, uh, Saravana here. I think uh, went through the slides. Uh, one of the things I wanted to know was, are these all CPUs in the same cluster or are they independently scalable? Because they're all part of the same cluster. The whole thing, the VMCP freak stuff isn't very useful. Because if you're running in one CPU versus another, it determines the frequency the same way. So how independently scalable are the physical CPUs? On x86, we can uh, uh, request a frequency change independently, uh, Sarvan. And so uh, these CPUs, uh, I mean, at a core level, we can request a different frequency. So, okay. And then the other one is when you implemented this, 
how many frequency points did you make available to the VM? If it's just like min and max, then again, you'll see it wouldn't be really good. You need to have all the intermediate frequencies. So is that what you did? Yeah, so we use the ACPI CPU Freak uh, and on, on uh, servers, we have three uh, P states, uh, uh, min, max, and an intermediate one. So all these three were uh, sent. But the larger concern is, uh, Saravan, when, uh, when the guest utilization is communicated to the host, uh, in the code, we saw that we were taking a maximum of uh, the guest and the host's uh, utilization, the effective utilization yeah. during the computation, right? So as a result, since we are trying to optimize for the idle case, that was really not a taking effect because the host utilization will always be higher. And perhaps we have to explore uh, the things that you did in V3 to see if we can use the ideas from UClamp to kind of clamp it down. And uh, yeah, so what I call UClamp additive is really more like clamping the actual utilization of the task. We can click out as task util clamping. In that case, if you also set the max, it would achieve what you need mm -hmm. in your case. Um, yeah, so I think it's more about having more intermediate frequencies. Because one of the comments was it didn't have any power savings. I think that's because you only have three frequency points you're making visible. Because if you make more of them visible, then you have final granularity on what utilization of the VL, vCPU that you pass over. Oh, and actually one last question. Are you using Schedule Governor? Because I know like yes. in x86 missions, it's not the case. Yeah, we are yeah, sorry, Intel okay. Thanks. And also um, regarding that uh, uh, P state comment, actually we have uh, used uh, AMD P state also, but uh, there also we see a, a like performance uh, dropped. So yeah, we have to uh, do more experiment with AMD P state. Hi, this is Joe. So one of the things I was wondering was from the host perspective, if you have idle polling in the guest, then the vCPU thread is really busy. And I was wondering, yeah, you you know, you're not really busy inside the guest because you're idle polling, but it's kind of weird for the host because from the host pers perspective, that's a busy thread, right? And how does this how does what you wanted to affect other threads on, on the host? Um, you know, th th that's what I was thinking. Uh, maybe I don't fully understand what you're doing, but that was kind of my question. So the Joel, Joel the intention here is uh, when we, if we are able to communicate the, uh, the frequency requirement from inside the guest to the host, say we ask for a lower frequency, that should translate or, or we share the utilization rather to the uh, to the host. We should be able to uh, take that into account the next time the uh, shared util uh, computes the frequency, right? So it knows that there is a guest thread that is running, which is not doing anything useful and take that into account yeah. while determining the next frequency and thereby ask for a lower frequency. So that that is what the intention that's was because these, these VCPs are pinned. Yeah, that's how yeah, Vincent speaking. So the utilization on the host side is how much your vCPU is using on the host side. So it's normal that is increasing if you're doing some pooling. Because from a host point of view, you are not idle, you are running. You see the point. So you can't really screw up the host utilization just because it doesn't reflect correctly what's going on in the vCPU. You must find another solution. Because this is then used in the CPU side to, to know how much of the compute capacity is used, how we can balance everything. So you, you can't just change that and expect to reflect that. You must find another way. I don't know which one, to be honest, but this util, util, utilization on host should reflect what is used on the host point of view. Uh, just one quick comment. I was kind of talking about this to Asan earlier. The way I see it is for men, we are taking the input from VM, CPU freak, take it for max. So basically long story short, Host has no idea what the utilization is. Instead of trying to guess and do stuff on the host side, just listen to what the vCPU is telling you. If you're setting min, set the max. So that's one. And then please work with me. Like feel free to email me to figure out your patches. If you need more help with that, happy to help. I think we're running out of time, right? Yeah, thanks. Sure. Thanks, thanks for the feedback, Karin. Thanks.